Good day folks and welcome to the IT way. My name is Joan and today we're going to continue with the features but this is a very important one and we're going to go a little bit to wireless and this is the one on how to identify how to take or select the best channel for your access point. And this is a tricky one because you can go to a different configuration of any vendor on the access points and you can select the one that you want. But how you can identify what is the perfect one for your environment, for your access points or for your solution. So that's where we're gonna go. In this video, we're gonna use the Cisco Meraki APs with the Cisco Meraki dashboard to see the RF spectrum and identify which is the best channel for us. So I'm going to give you a few tips and the steps on how to see it. And this is, can be used in different vendors as well on different solutions that you might have. If you want to know more about configuration and troubleshooting tips with the Cisco Meraki devices, you can go here. And this is our playlist for all the trainings that we have so far. I'm uploading videos every week as well to put more to the pool. So now let's go to the dashboard. Let's check which access points I have. Let's check the RFX spectrum and then how we can select the best channel for our network. Let's go. Great. Now that we are in our dashboard for Cisco Meraki devices, we're going to go to the wireless and RF spectrum. So here we're going to see everything regarding the wireless um, environment where these X specific access points is. Here we have four different things. The name of the access points. Right now in this access point network, we have just one. The channels used, it means that it has radio one and radio two. Two radios to transmit signals. The first radio is a 2.4. That's why it says that it's using channel one to transmit the SSIDs. And the second one is a five gig band and uses channel 36 to transmit the signal. Here is the average channel utilization. It means is how bad or how utilized is this channel in particular, the ones that are currently using, which is channel one. So it's 20%. It means that it's low. You can see that it's green, which is great. And the second one is the channel utilization in the five gig band. In this case, it's 36 and it's 17%, which is low. But if you want to know more information about how the other channels are working, and if you have this, in the higher percentage, like 40, 60, 70, even 90. That's a very good way now for you to see and try to select a better channel for your access point. You can, and you can do this AP by AP and then increase the performance of each one if it's necessary. Here we have the, these two graphs and this is gonna populate every second. That's why you have the three minutes here and we're gonna see the whole picture for the last three minutes in the, in the environment of this access point. You can select and change from 2.4 to 5 gig. We're going to start with 2.4. This is the spectrum that we have in the 11 from channel 1 to channel 11, which is the one supported by 2.4 gigahertz. And here we have the two different options. The utilization, it means that right now, this access point has a third radio. There is, they are checking the whole environment in each individual channel. I'm providing this information for us. So we know that channel one right now, the core utilization is 34%. So it's one third utilized already. But in average, it's 32% for the last 80 seconds. It's one third of the whole airspace that you have in that band, in that channel. And you can go alone and you can see the different channels. So if you go through the textbooks, it's telling you, oh, 2.4, yes, it has yeah, all these 13 channels, but the most used are three, right? And that's what's something that you have to be aware of as well. If you can come back here, we can see that based on this graph, the values that we have here is minus 40 dBm and minus 100. I'm not going to go too much in details, but at the end, what you have to know is the lower the, body, the value, the better. So what we want is to ensure that the channel that we use has one of the lower values. See in the life, you can see that here we have more activity than the other ones. So it looks like if I select these channels, it's going to be better for my signal. These channels are a little bit more with utilization and these channels are good as well. As I mentioned, since we have 13 channels, but based on the recommendation textbooks, I'm not going to go too much in details in this one as well either, but you use most of the times three channels. So in this case, you can see channel one can be used here. Channel six is the one that is being used 
here and then you can use the channel 10 11 here for by this part if we come back here we can see the signature of every second in the spectrum and it tells you almost the same thing as here right you can see a lot of noise coming from this area so i wouldn't recommend to use this area at the same time and if you go down you can see the same the same the same situation so in this area is when you have the higher utilization so if i were you i would select channel one is too much as well and channel 11 it's a little bit less so if you have to change the best approach here is use channel 11 and you can manually change the radio settings in the interfering APs is for you to see what other APs or, or SSIDs are around you and what is the signal strength that this AP is picking up from there if you see this is what the maximum strength that we have you see the lower the higher the value more interference it has so this is the, the access points or this is that it have the higher interference for your for your access points at this moment and most of them is channel 11 channel 1 and then channel 11 channel 1 and you can see all this information here so that's great in that way you can understand if this is coming from a rogue access points that you can take a look and bring it down and this option is telling you if that mac address of that bssid that access points is seen on the land and that way if you have the complete enterprise network and you you're not supposed to have any other access points nearby here you can see that access point is connected to the land or not so for 2.4 Yes, you can select either channel 1 and channel 11, which is better than channel 6 at this moment. 5 gig. 5 gig, you know, we have way more channels, and you can see it all the way onto channel 144. Here, channel 5, the 5 gigs, it looks like it's fairly decent, so there is nothing sticking out, but it's the same low applies here. If you scroll down, the interfering APs, so it, it looks like these one are being used at 132. So this is where you have most of the interference. And the utilization, if you come back, you see a little bit of utilization at the first channels and at the end of the channels. So right now, which channel are we using? Are we using 36? That's why you can see that utilization and it's almost the same thing in average. So if this is high or too much high when you go here and you see 45, 50%, 60, 70%, that's how you can select which channel is better in this instance so you can select either any of these channels for you to transmit and you're not gonna have any barely any interference to confirm you can come here and see who is using another channel that is not 36 44 or a higher number 137 132 and that corroborates with the information that we have so you can see no one is using any of these channels so you're gonna be completely exclusively alone and this is going to be the channel just for you at this moment and that's how you check here and you select which channel is better based on the actual and the current utilization that the third radio for this access point is telling you about and if you go back if you have more access points you can see the list and then you can identify oh yes this access point has a higher utilization and it's using this channel so let's go let's ensure that we have a, a better available channel and then you can go to wireless radio settings and change the channel as well and that's how you identified what is the best channels for your access points depending of what we saw before the RF spectrum what is what is happening exactly in your environment and what is the ap model that you have and what is the best for your network or for your environment at the same time if you'd like to know more about how to configure access points or switches or security appliance the whole meraki stack you can go here you will see all the list of the different features that we have covered so far and troubleshooting tips or even how to automate your network to make it better if you need more you can subscribe to the channel and you will see all the weekly uploaded videos that we're going to put to bring you more information about how to work and how to troubleshoot with cisco meraki devices and that's how you find the best channel in the it way see you the next one